The member for Hasluck has the Thank call. you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Will the Prime Minister update the House on his visit to East Arnhem Land last week? And how is the government deepening its engagement with Indigenous Australians? I call the Honourable the Prime Minister. Well, Madam Speaker, I do thank the member for Hasluck for his question, and I acknowledge uh, his uh, place of great honour in our country's history as the first Indigenous member of the House of Representatives. And, Madam Speaker, as uh, uh, many members would recall, during last year's election campaign, I promised to spend a week in Yolnu country, and uh, last week uh, I kept that commitment. Uh, along with the Minister for Indigenous Affairs, Senator Scullion, uh, along with uh, my parliamentary secretary, the member for Aston, uh, we spent uh, uh, five working days in uh, Gulkalu, uh, Yirrkala and Nulanboy. Uh, we were joined uh, at different times in that period by the Minister for Education, by the Minister for Health, uh, the Minister for Finance, the Minister for Veterans Affairs uh, and also the Assistant Minister for Health, the Assistant Minister of Infrastructure and, of course, uh, the member for Hasluck himself was there and uh, the relevant departmental secretaries were there too. So, Madam Speaker, for the best part of a week, Indigenous Affairs was a key focus of government. This is a very good way of demonstrating to Indigenous people that their concerns have not been lost uh, amongst those of the general community. And, Madam Speaker, on Indigenous policy, the government's priority is absolutely crystal clear to get the kids to school, to get the adults to work and keep communities safe. And, Madam Speaker, I wish to acknowledge uh, the commitment of Yulnu people to education. I wish to acknowledge uh, their determination to ensure that their land is an economic asset as well as a cultural and spiritual one. I also wish to acknowledge their yearning, uh, along with the yearning of so many people, black and white, right around Australia, uh, for Indigenous recognition in our constitution. This is a fully uh, bipartisan cause, and I do wish to thank the Leader of the Opposition uh, for the constructive dialogue we have had on this subject. But most of all, Madam Speaker, I wish to thank Galaroy Unapingu uh, for the hospitality that he showed to me and my colleagues uh, over the last few days. He is, of course, one of our country's greatest ever Indigenous leaders. And, Madam Speaker, I'm actually the seventh Prime Minister uh, that Galaroy has dealt with. I acknowledge the goodwill uh, of all my predecessors and I pledge to do what I can uh, to build on their good work. I should also thank the Army uh, for providing me and my colleagues uh, with accommodation and catering, and I do pledge, Madam Speaker, myself to continue to spend uh, a week, a year, in an Indigenous community as long as I remain in public life. Yeah. Yeah.